pardon the voice it's a little groggy and it's late too as well so i just wanted to make a brief overview quick hypothetical ta on ticker symbol w o o f wolf petco health and wellness company and um as you know there has been a lot of attention in regards to wolf um i also know somebody who have been looking at this ever since um before their last earnings which was actually successful with the surprise uh, earnings of 0.017 which is almost 30 percent and a surprise revenue beat of 16.27 million so that was uh pretty much uh well done on on their on their part and also in the midst of all of that we had seen um wolf here reach a, a, a 52 week low or all time low of 141 uh would say okay back in april 25th of this year but as you look in the history of this chart um i want to say that i think here that ipo back in january 4th of 2021 with an open of 26 bucks and a high of 31 dollars so since then it had been making lower lower highs lower highs lower highs in that history and it just kept getting shorted uh you know fortunately you know in these cases where you know things have to occur and certain people have to take advantage and you know um you would know the rest afterwards but um i just wanted to show you real quick on how it looks now and um ever since that low of 141 and and the earnings that was a beat um we had a trajectory that just um seemed like there is a lot of uh interest in a lot of buyers coming in and just seeing this price action that looks pretty nice here um and reaching here from april 25th to june 5th um to a high of 438 so that is a pretty nice uh, rally there so from here all the way to so in 41 days that's pretty much a over 210 percent gain um if you know if you took it like a swing trade and stuff like that then uh that's cool um it seems like there was a pullback as well i guess what what comes up must come down but since uh the buys have been a lot on the stronger side um this is looking a little bit of a healthy pullback and if you look here on the macd2 as well you can see it's actually bottoming out and it, it's uh due for a reversal and a potential crossover here and uh going back to the green for maybe another push to the upside potentially and um here i mean this uh last daily candle explains it at all it was a big push to the upside here from a low of 20, 328 to a high of 387 almost four bucks here so this only proves it gives me a reason to believe that there is a an uh yeah more and more push to the upside potentially is uh these uh nine to twelve EMA bands or I mean clouds look like it's uh also doing a reversal. So it it's all showing uh confirmation, you know, especially here. Let's see the RSI real quick. You can see it uh consolidated and then now it's uh, trying to break out and doing a crossover too as well. Um so um and by the way anything that's being said here in this video of course as I always say it's uh strictly in my opinion is not financial advice and it, um and this is just for entertainment purposes only and um a reminder as well that you are your own decision maker of your own money and your investments as long as you're playing it safe uh you know your levels and your you know your risks as long as you're making money so uh but that being said um just quickly what could be um an interesting week for um for wolf and as we look here 
quickly at the short interest of uh, 17,474,059 shares, short interest ratio of 2.43 days to cover, and a short interest percentage of the flow of 20.82% here as per uh, Fintel. And uh, last time, as of a day ago, um, 2.3 million shares, short shares available to borrow, and just only 0.29% uh, in cost of borrow fees, so not really much of a big deal there. But these no these numbers here, especially the short interest percentage float, is uh, something to watch and see uh, and see like how it would affect, it would affect shorts in a way, and also um, how this stock will react. And not only that, but uh, interesting interestingly enough, um, there was a post by Roaring Kitty as of the twenty seventh. And I know this, this might not be correlated in any way, it's just speculation, but here on uh, 1 o'clock, June 27th, he posted this picture of a dog looking to the side. And um, not only that, but here by Unusual Whales, there was a post there that says that for those interested, we have seen a lot of options around GME and Chewy recently. So Chewy, which is another website of, uh, of uh, pet supplies and food and all that stuff, but only like online. Um have been getting a lot of uh, interest and uh, volume. So, um, you know, that's something interesting to see. But I would think that, you know, this is, uh, if this is pet related, I would think that Wolf is also involved, uh, in, in my opinion, of course, speculation. But um, what if, you know? So then that means that more volume would probably pick up for Wolf. And uh, if this does continue, um, to uh, give a strong support here as you can see the the EMA clouds bouncing off the the main uh, the the long EMA cloud of what uh, was it the 180 to 200 day EMA these EMAs are bouncing right off of it so it's given it, uh, a confirmation that there is more upside potential and uh, my thought is that if it does break over Around 440, then we could see 450 and over that, and a possibility of this to try to hit five bucks. Maybe, not financial advice, but if it does start to reject and make lower highs, um, and pull back some more, then there is a potential for the for Wolf to. Perhaps retest three dollars as a level of support. Um, but I feel like just as I'm looking at the uh, MACD and the RSI, I feel like there's still a lot of room to move up, which would further lead me to believe that there is still that sentiment that's bullish. And um, also here too as well in the 24 hour as well um, as I go closer to the one hour looks like there is like a bounce and bounce and then could bounce again and follow that trend to further confirm that potential push to that level so that's uh, again my just my opinion and my take on it not much uh, to see in terms of well actually uh in terms of options there is uh some volume there on the open interest too as well for the four dollar strike for the july 19th expiration date Let's see here also for the five dollar strike um as you look through same thing here for the august 16th september 20th five dollar strike there's a lot more volume there uh, 4.5. Huh? Oh, ten dollar strike here for the January 2025 calls, with decent uh, open interest in volume. So, um, you can you can see that there is definitely some interest there. Um, and just people, um, watching the stock and perhaps taking position in it. 
thinking that it's also bullish. Again, uh, take that with a grain of salt. Cannot finish the vice. That is your quick overview and hypothetical T on your symbol W O O F Petco. Um, you know, good luck next week. Um, I know July Fourth is on a Thursday, so we're only gonna have four days to trade. And um, in advance, happy Fourth of July. Um, if you like this video and this content. And it's uh, <laughs> it's it's not as hype as other channels, but uh, you know, kind of leave a, a a cool and mellow feel to the way I do things here, especially if it's nighttime. But whatever. Um, <laughs> but you already know. Show some love, and um, I'll see you in the next video and on the next stream. And take care, everybody. Much love. Be safe. And good luck this week. Peace out. Line of all trades.